Okay guys, I thought it'd be useful to put a short video on here about group exercises. I get lots of emails and uh, questions about group exercises at interviews, assessment days, assessment centers. So here's five tips for um, succeeding in group exercises. Okay, so tip number one, if possible, take the lead. So whoever assumes a leadership role automatically gets a head start on the other, uh, the other candidates who remember are your competitors. So being prepared to show the initi initiative, take responsibility. Uh, it's viewed very positively by um, almost all assessors. And um, it's just something that separates you from the crowd immediately. So don't force it. You know, you don't want to be um, do domineering. You don't want to be, uh, you, don't, you don't want to bully the other candidates. Uh, but you want to be confident and bold. And uh, most people find that really hard, especially in a setting where the pressure's on. But you've just got to do it. You know, you've got to put yourself out there. A really good way to take the lead without um, seeming like you're being bossy um, is to offer to be the timekeeper during the exercise. So do that early on in the exercise and just say, you know, um, you know, OK, guys, I'll uh, I'll keep, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be the timekeeper for the exercise. Nobody will refuse or, you know, contest that. And straight away, that's something that you've done which is going to make sure that you remain a central player in the exercise. So it's a really practical practical suggestion. Um, it's a collaborative suggestion, and you've kind of um, uh, you've marked yourself out as a sort of authority figure within the group, someone who's going to be important to the uh, framework and structure of the exercise. So uh, really, really important if you can take the lead. Okay, number two. Be calm and assertive, not aggressive. Now, this is a fine line that you've got to tread. Some people get a bit carried away. <laughs> they get a bit carried away in, in uh, group exercises because it can end up being a little bit confrontational. But, of course, that's not what you want to... Um, that's not how you want to behave at all. So you want to be calm and assertive, be confident, but absolutely not aggressive. It can be difficult to put your personality across in a sort of well-rounded way during the group exercise because everyone wants to make a good impression um, and everyone will have a different sort of view of how to achieve that really. Some people will be quite dominating because they want to demonstrate drive or leadership or passion and some people feel so overwhelmed that and, and nervous that they struggle to get a foothold in the discussion at all. So, you know, be forceful if you need to be. Um, don't let anybody um, walk over you. Uh, but at the same time, we want you to think calm and assertive. That's that's what we want you to think. And uh, aggression and not be uh, no aggress aggression. Uh, don't be confrontational. Okay, number three, include other people. Right, this is an elite trait. This is one of the things that always sets somebody apart from the group. If there's someone in your group that has been quite quiet or hasn't really managed to gain any traction in the exercise, it's a really really good characteristic for you to exhibit is to try and include them um you know ask their opinion you know uh you know ask them what they think that's something that marks you out as a leader a team player uh, someone with great interpersonal skills someone who's got a good radar for you know uh, being able to manage the dynamics of a group situation really important include other people Okay, number four, people love it when they when you use their names. So not just the assessors, <laughs> but also the, the other candidates. You know, it shows that you're well-mannered and attentive, but it also demonstrates that you've got a great eye for detail and it predisposes people to like you. So don't force it, you know, use it at natural moments um, and use it with a compliment for maximum points, you know. So someone makes a good point, for example, you, you know, don't just say uh, great point, you know, you know, say, oh, a great point, Emma, you know, what do you think, Tom? You know, bring people into the conversation by using their names and offering compliments. It kind of adds a personal element to what you, um, how you carry yourself, and it can soften questions that might otherwise be very direct. So using people's names, brilliant, good tip, really, really useful. And lastly, uh, negativity is forbidden. Okay, so absolutely it's just it's it should just be banned in, in in your mind we don't want you to criticize anybody during the exercise um we don't want you to find fault with other people's suggestions um everyone's trying to work towards a common goal and you need to bear that in mind so um regardless of what happens absolutely do not criticize anyone during the exercise it reflects poorly on you 
and um, it kind of hints at you being a kind of you know negative um, you know negative person and absolutely nobody wants to work with a moaner okay <laughs> okay so no negativity of any kind okay they're just five quick tips um, that you'll find really really useful in your uh, group exercise if you want to read my full group exercise guide go to assessmentcenterhq.com forward slash group and you'll see the full group exercise guide and there's tons of tips on there there's practice group exercises there's a podcast episode you can listen to um, there's other videos and tons of resources that'll help you at your assessment center or um, or interview or assessment day or whatever it is that you have coming up i hope you found that video useful and i will see you over on the site